When folks in one rural Maine town get home tonight and turn their lights on, they may not realize the electricity to do that is coming from the sun. As Maine continues its investments in renewable energy, one solar farm is setting the standard for similar projects to come. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers brings us to a sunny town of Milo. Big business in small towns, especially in Piscataquis County, is very difficult to come by. Oh, it's just incredibly gratifying on so many levels. Six years of work later, an old empty lot and potato field are now home to this solar project, worked on in partnership among the town of Milo, the Carlisle Group, Dirigo Solar, and BNRG Renewables. What's nice about this project is that this, this power goes out onto the local grid and gets consumed locally. Dirigo Solar is working on eight solar projects across the state. This one in Milo is the first online and the biggest as it will generate nearly 27 megawatts of energy, which will power a approximately 3,400 homes annually and save consumers money. Robert Cleves is a co-founder of the company. The estimated savings are close to $30 million over the life of the project. The 67,000 solar panels here in Milo make this solar project the largest in the state, with more like it coming online soon. But all of this is part of a bigger renewable energy plan right here in Maine. We need a variety of approaches in order to increase renewable energy and access to it in our state. Senator Susan Collins talking about wind and solar energy, but focusing on the panels Friday. And her focus in Washington, investing in storage technology so we can power our homes even on the cloudiest days. That's important not only for solar, but for wind energy as well. Three things are necessary, Cleve says, in order for a project like this to be successful. First, you need the right type of land. The site needs to be close to the power grid. Third, it, it, it needs to pass all of the environmental checklists so that we're not um, harming the environment when we're trying to do something to actually help the environment. These folks signing their names to mark a historic day for Milo and the state of Maine. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. And Dirigo Solar is expecting three other projects to go online this month. Those sites are in Oxford, Fairfield, and Augusta.